I wanted to share part of this story. Honestly, this started me down a road, and uh, the story itself, it's interesting. It's New York Times. Uh, Hiroki Tabuchi uh, wrote this whole thing about a coal mining company, and believe it or not, they're doing terrible things. Oh, uh, just coal They're mining. polluting. Oh, uh, well. Miners not being treated correctly. Uh, yes, Are exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the vice president, uh, <laughs> apparently a guy uh, crushed his hand in some fucking ungodly machine, and the vice president was like, hey, if you don't report that, I'll uh, make it worth your while because they didn't they wanted to have like a clean safety record they paid him two thousand dollars for losing his entire ass finger Uh, oh my god yeah yeah just like yeah money Uh, no of course (laughs) not (laughs) thank god (laughs) thank god someone said god i don't know (laughs) yeah yeah you ever seen a two thousand dollar replacement finger it looks like (laughs) shit (laughs) (laughs) looks like shit that's right (laughs) that that, uh that same vice president uh got uh at least one of his fedex packages filled with cocaine intercepted at his house by the Department of Justice. Hell so, yes. Uh, but uh, hey, he didn't. They actually uh, dropped the uh, trafficking uh, charges. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because they wanted to, I guess, get a bigger charge against him, which uh-huh. this company, by the way, they uh, really like. You know, threw the book at him. I think it, they uh, find them a million dollars. Uh, you know, Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're These terrible. Coal but... mining bastards, just like your grandfather and your grandfather before you. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, coal mining everyone's souls uh, <laughs> for money. But it was uh, <laughs> it was the opening of this article that really uh, threw me down a, a very fun uh, path this morning. So I'm going to read that uh, just before 2 a.m. April 18th, 2018. Amy Price, the wife of coal executive Larry Price Jr., called the police in Bluefield, Virginia to report her husband missing. Police scoured Bluefield, a town of less than 10,000 people nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and soon discovered Larry Price's white Mercedes in a deserted parking lot. Price, a 42-year-old father of six, was an industrious business person who ran surface operations at an underground coal mine, one of the nation's largest near Roundup, Montana. He also ran a motorcycle shop called Hog Pit Cycles <laughs> that yeah. traded in used mm-hmm. Harley Davidsons, and he had promised several investors big returns in coal. Recently, some of them had confronted Price about their money. As night fell, a driver traveling along a state road some 20 miles away from Bluefield noticed a man on the roadside, a disheveled Price who was rushed to a hospital. He told told investigators that he had been kidnapped by an outlaw biker gang <laughs> that drugged him and took him to his own motorcycle <laughs> shop where they robbed him before loading him into a van and dumping him on the roadside. <laughs> when surveillance cameras showed that there hadn't been a robbery, he changed his story saying the Whoa. gang had actually asked him for coal train schedules for a scheme to traffic methamphetamine by rail. Whoa. Very good cover up though. If I had train what schedules, a... I would use them. <laughs> like a, it's a quite a plot. That's right. The truth was Price hadn't been kidnapped at all as he later admitted in court he had staged his own kidnapping in a last ditch attempt to escape investors wrath for embezzlement schemes totaling over 20 million dollars <laughs> that he had hatched with the president of the montana coal mine all right yeah dude well, this uh, is great <laughs> and they go on to talk about his uh his house which was the largest home in the town a twenty six thousand square foot 10 bedroom stone castle it had a tower a moat a drawbridge a glass elevator a bowling alley <laughs> wow. multiple swimming pools and an indoor shooting range. A drawbridge to where? <laughs> <laughs> to the home. He had a moat. Oh, he had a moat. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, I mean... You, you need one, a moat. One kind of goes with the other. Carter, yeah. you need a moat. <laughs> How yeah. is dog going to get back How? inside? You got to drop the drawbridge. <laughs> you know how many dogs have just fallen into the moat? <laughs> just fallen into the moat. Carter, <laughs> how will I defend against the Visigoths if I don't have a moat? <laughs> it's a moat full of dead dogs. <laughs> this is horrible. And, and, and the barbarians don't want to go in the moat because there's so many yeah, of them. I got tired of letting the drawbridge go. <laughs> up and down all the goddamn yeah. time. I just let the dogs fall in the water. Hey, you laugh, man. I wake up in the morning, I piss into my moat. That's true. And I pull my drawbridge up. <laughs> That's no right. one can fucking tell me shit. He also had an indoor shooting range with bank vault doors. <laughs> so, Whoa. I, I do appreciate the safety Give level. Give me rich guy stuff. Uh, just the craziest <laughs> yeah. shit yeah. ever. Could this door would be more special. Yeah. <laughs> can it look like <laughs> can, can it look like a, a ducktails? Can we get a <laughs> yeah. ducktail level spinning <laughs> lock on this safe door. You give me a full duck suit and a monocle. <laughs> I would like to dive into the <laughs> Is it impossible coins? to spit gold coins out of your mouth and swim <laughs> through them? Spray paint these coins gold. <laughs> uh, 
So uh, at his <laughs> at his sentencing, Price admitted that the full scope of the embezzlement was closer to forty million dollars. Yeah, uh, clearly. So they Your told he told the cops that they're like, oh, actually, uh, you you were lowballing it. It's actually I stole I stole away no, more. That's nice uh, that he was up front about it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> they also Blue discovered Ridge ain't seen the likes of a criminal like this since <laughs> <laughs> Gummy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, Gummy Joe. Gummy, <laughs> Gummy Joe. Joe. Uh, I robbed the Haribo train as it was rolling through town. I got He'd the sleep on t- one of the cars, the Haribo train. I got one that tastes like Coca-Cola. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, <laughs> oh, and also they found out that the owners of this coal company, there's actually just three shell companies, and one of them is a uh, Russian oligarch who's very close to Vladimir Putin. So just all around terrible. Oh, man, you've uncovered a fucking national say. Well, and, uh, shout out to the New York Times. But, you know, like I said, check out that article. Uh, yeah, Hiroko Tabuchi. It's up now on New York Times. But that led me down to... Uh, uh, something I, I didn't know I had an interest in until I read the story, which was uh, men who kidnap themselves. <laughs> oh, to get out of marriages? Or something Just or? in general. Uh, if anybody out there wants to do a fun Google search, and I will say the Wikipedia article on people who kidnap themselves is way too fucking short. If yeah. you just go to Google and type in man who kidnapped himself or, you know, man who faked kidnapping. Yeah, yeah. The results are just stunning. Uh, (laughs) So I was going to go through a couple of these because there's plenty of women, obviously, that fake their own kidnappings, too. But the motives for that is just like, yeah, dude, men are creeps and they kidnap women sometimes. So they are like, you know, they always have to lie about what happened to them. And it's always bad with the dudes. It's way funnier because they have to come up with the most elaborate reasons for being kidnapped, and they have to come up with the most insane details. So, uh-huh. uh, and the shocking thing is, a lot of these are pretty fucking recent. Yeah, <laughs> like I was, you know, Balloon Boy kidnapped himself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Balloon Boy, Falcon Heaney, shout out. Uh, <laughs> I don't. We should have him on the podcast. I think they're all like he, the last I heard, he was doing metal songs for Trump. So like, oh, well, he was in he was in Trump's metal song department. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> They're like, how many songs did you write today? How many? I wrote some riffs. <laughs> this is my band, Five Finger Death Balloon. <laughs> so this first guy, in February 2021, 19 year old Brandon Souls was found with his hands tied up behind his back with a belt and a bandana in his mouth near a water tower in Coolidge, Arizona. He told authorities that two masked men had kidnapped him, hit his head, and knocked him unconscious. The men then drove around before dumping him where he was found, Souls said. But after conducting an investigation, detectives found no evidence the kidnapping occurred. Police said that they investigated Souls' claims, including that he was taken by the masked men because his father had hidden large sums of money around town. Yeah. So he's like, my Warned daddy got around. <laughs> they're looking for my daddy's buried treasure. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then what happened? They just arrested him immediately. Uh, they found, like, that's nice. Yeah, pretty much. They Thanks found no evidence. Uh, and uh, police also searched through surveillance videos. That's what's that's the thing that's just yeah. What year is it? You fucking idiot! You're I, being filmed everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, America, yeah, yeah. the city. I'm actually not joking about that. Out here, you're like you're just like walking your dog, and you look up at some assholes like live Instagram. And you're like, oh fuck, I'm in this video yeah. for millions of. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over there. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. You know what? Just get yeah. used to your dirty laundry being everywhere. I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> literally, it, I'm leaving it everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> a your sock house, here, in a sock house, there, in this house. <laughs> on the street. Uh, but yeah, they found nothing to corroborate the story. Souls then confessed to authorities that he made up the story in order to get out. Out of work at a car shop, the tire factory <laughs> where he is. It's time to quit tire. that job. If you have to kidnap yourself Dude. to get a day off, or at least like you know, feign a sickness. Yeah, yeah. I'm on heroin today, so I'm yeah, I'm on there. heroin today, and I got fucking <laughs> snot coming out of my ears, and you don't want to be around me. So right. there you go. Yeah, yeah. Also, this is 2021 when this happened. There's yeah, when you can be like, I have COVID. I, like, yeah, like that. Like my neighbor oh, from right. fucking two states away has the sniffles, and I can't come in. You yeah. can absolutely that just is say COVID. true in a COVID world. Why even? Kidnap yourself. Yes, that's people so don't elaborate. even want to see the test anymore. <laughs> the numbers have really gone down since COVID. The kidnapping yourself thing. <laughs> uh, a manager for the store declined to comment, but according to Soul's Facebook profile, he no longer works there. Uh, so yeah, that's that guy. Uh, and we're we're kind of amping up here. You might notice a, a, a slight escalation here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rogelio and a Verde. Uh, <laughs> are, <laughs> I'm down. I would never talk shit to a guy named Rogelio. <laughs> oh. like you seem really nice. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Around 10.30 p.m. on October 4th, 2013, 34-year-old Rogelio Andeverde was at his home in oh. Edinburgh, Texas with his wife when two masked men with guns forced their way in and grabbed Andeverde. Only laughing because it's fake. Is it clear? That's what's so fun America. about this. I know you're worried. I know you're worried. Uh, <laughs> his, <laughs> wife, <laughs> his wife, Maria Hernandez, immediately called authorities and was, quote-unquote, petrified after witnessing what she thought was the abduction of her husband. And I'm like, yeah, that sure. makes sense. Guys yes. in masks, yeah. Uh, just watching TV and all of a sudden yeah. the How craziest... How I describe them? They sounded just like his buddies from work. <laughs> yeah, he's like, his two best friends from high school. <laughs> search helicopters and a dozen deputies from the Department of Public Safety were called in to look for Andeverde. The search was called off after a couple hours went by without any fresh leads. Two days later, Andeverde showed up at his house and told his wife he'd been released by his kidnappers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, there's that whole like ransom part of it. They're you're just, just like, nah, we, we'll give them back. Like, you don't... There's no, <laughs> that was crazy, right? We shouldn't have kidnapped <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, That's crazy. What are we were doing? just bored. It was Tuesday. It was just, you know, we were just... <laughs> we're, that's our bad. <laughs> we're sorry. If, yeah, yeah. Just... Like, we're Clean slate. We're going to let you go. <laughs> like, sorry. If, if you're returned in this storyline, some transaction had to have happened. Sure. Like, it's either a thrill killing or there's a ransom. So if you're back and there's no ransom... Uh, Do the anyway. cops then arrest everyone, right? They don't just go, well, that's weird. I guess it didn't happen. Well, goodbye. <laughs> How does that work? What's the protocol? Uh, Follow-up <laughs> investigation showed that he had set up the kidnapping himself so he could, ah, quote-unquote, investigation. spend time with his friends and party. <laughs> that is a great reason, though. A really pure reason to get out of stuff. Man, I got to do shit like that. He was like, life's for the living, dude. I so know me, it. <laughs> me, Rivers, and Sam <laughs> yeah, and Seth can all go and fucking check out Avatar The Way of Water. Yeah, they have to come yeah. and pull me out of the room. Yeah, with scare car the shit out of Carly. <laughs> <laughs> let's get some balaclavas and some fucking plastic guns yeah. and let's uh -huh. go to Buffalo Wild Wings, boys. <laughs> she sees your car. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like That's the craziest awesome. shit. So wait, what happened? What, 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 I mean, oh, <laughs> oh I, they just let me go. I don't know. They were just... <laughs> We were all, they were hungry. I, you know how some people can get like hangry. <laughs> <laughs> they were hungry. Why and, is there <laughs> buffalo wing sauce on your shirt? What? <laughs> Seems like there's evidence of a, a bitch in good time on you right now. <laughs> This one is incredibly recent. Uh, December 31st, 2022. So New Whoa. Year's Eve. Whoa. I remember uh, this day. <laughs> I was there. This I is was the day around. I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paul Iera of Wollongong, New South Wales, Australia. Keep in mind <laughs> what day it is when this is going on. It is New Year's Eve. Yeah. Okay, so he's 35 years old. He left his residence at 11.35 p.m. Mm -hmm. To get kidnapped? informing his partner that he was going to quote unquote meet his financial guy at, right at, to watch the fucking oh. fireworks together <laughs> for, for he, what he's gonna he's gonna meet his financial guy at That's 11 30 at night right. yeah 11 35 on new, new year's, year's eve. eve he's leaving his girlfriend yeah. that's code for coke dealer yeah uh, yeah drug well dealer. <laughs> yeah that's drug dealer <laughs> solid <laughs> after he left his home his girlfriend received several text messages alleging that he had been kidnapped by a sex worker because of Ayara's past experience <laughs> with this particular sex worker, his girlfriend believed him and quickly reported him to the police. All right. So mm -hmm. she, she got a text that was like, yeah, Ashley kidnapped me again. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what it. it means when you go and do your taxes. <laughs> yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kidnapped. <laughs> He's going to go get on a payment plan <laughs> for his taxes. <laughs> That's right. In oh. the ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is the text that the sex workers sent him, oh, supposedly. No. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sending Paul to me. Now, payback is a bitch. Bye-bye. <laughs> And then <laughs> uh, that's the first one. And then the second one, <laughs> leave it to man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is the next one. And it's amazing. I'm going to be fair. Fair is misspelled. F A R E. I'm going to be fair. Okay. We will like keep taxi cab fair. <laughs> $3. <laughs> <please>. <laughs> $3. This be. is going to be fair. <laughs> we will keep him with us until the morning. When, when misspelled W E N, he gives us his dirt bike. Then we could call it square. <laughs> Fucking A. That's mm -hmm. good shit. So he ransomed his own dirt oh, bike. I love it. Not even cash he was just like just give me the easily traceable dirt oh, bike mm -hmm. i love it <laughs> you know the one with the serial number and the loud just motor so, just so you could have someone <laughs> lube up the crook of their elbow and fuck it <laughs> <laughs> you can have my dirt bike 
<laughs> and it is a really dirty, dirty, dirty <laughs> dirt bike, guys. While we you? were while we were just sitting around waiting for the new year, thinking about resolutions, there was a guy <laughs> fucking the crook of an elbow. I know. God damn, what was I doing? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I wasn't doing shit. I don't think I did much. I ate a pizza. You were in Palm Springs. You I was in Palm Springs, but you still got just pizza there. It's, <laughs> it's not that different. I give you a fuck someone's wife or eat a pizza, so I ate a pizza. <laughs> Palm Springs, baby. <laughs> After... After the report was filed, the cops quickly reviewed the CCTV cameras in the vicinity, and they immediately discovered the man wearing a basketball jersey entering another woman's residence with an overnight bag. Toothbrush, and he's <laughs> wearing a jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and flip-flops. <laughs> I will say, I will say, it's summer in Australia. It's it is summer in Australia. It so. is summer in Australia. Yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a state of mind. But I, I do like that, that they included that detail of, like, <laughs> this dude was mad comfortable. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what jersey? Happy New Year, Australia. <laughs> the Walla Walla, Bing Bang, <laughs> yeah. Australia. T- Toon Squad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll make fun of your whole fucking country. All right, I'm American. Uh, the, ne- the, next <laughs> day, around, the next day, Ayara called his father <laughs> to inform him that he'd been kidnapped Aww. and would be left behind in his car by the kidnappers. Oh. So he called mm. him and was like, they're going to leave me in my own car. <laughs> <laughs> God, that makes it all so much better, knowing that he spoke like that. I, I know. <laughs> that makes it so much better. Better when he was like, I'm gonna go fuck that whore down the street. I can't do the direct. <laughs> hey, Pop, they're gonna make it really easy for you. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be in the back of my Subaru Justy. I'm gonna give you me dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> you have a dirt bike. That is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I, bought the, I bought you the dirt bike. <laughs> you let me blow me cummies all over you, all over your backside. Uh, you can have me dirt bike. <laughs> Um, Tell so, my pip pip they, they left me in the car. Right. <laughs> At around 10:30 a.m., police conducted a high-risk vehicle stop on Ayara's white van, believing he was being held hostage inside. The court heard Ayara allegedly told them that he was kidnapped by unknown men, but identified the sex worker as directing the kidnapping. Yeah. So this like fake lady that he made up. <laughs> <laughs> she was very sexy and made up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She <laughs> was by the legs. Yeah, the yeah. legs. <laughs> like, Why are you still dressed up for an escort date? <laughs> Those were big cones. <laughs> yeah, I'm running that, this show. That, that, yeah, Cecil B. DeMille cone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the court also heard that he was, uh, the claim that he was driven far away before being left in his car in the morning and told to wait for instructions. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, you don't let the hostage to their own devices. Yeah, you yeah. do if you intimidate them enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah awesome oh, I was too scared to drive away. <laughs> they, were gonna, they threatened to put a brown snake on me while I was <laughs> Um... <laughs> Police dispute this and say no vehicle matching. That of the alleged kidnappers was seen. He is expected back in court later this month. Sure. So this is mm. ongoing. I love it. Let's uh, find this fucking guy. <laughs> Let's kidnap his ass. <laughs> For real this time. Let's yeah. tell this motherfucker what a kidnapping <laughs> looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like. Yeah, you lick the end of a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they throw a lit cigarette in the trunk and close it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, man. I want to do that. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, Fuck up. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> You're teaching that to get fake kidnapped, dummy. <laughs> Gong. Uh, and this last one, Jonathan Michael Davis. Still uh, a stupid name, even though it's normal. Not 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 normal, but you know. <laughs> Not, yeah. not the guy from Corn. I was gonna say one name away from the lead singer from Corn. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, not. Right. It's not Jonathan that. Davies. It's not that Jonathan Davis. <laughs> Jonathan Davis. Is that right? he, Who's he, that? he was in Corn, and he was also Gimli in Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and, and in the and in the Kings. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> and he's in the Kings. He was in the Corks. Oh, yeah, he was in the Corks. <laughs> basic ass name that you throw around. <laughs> and my ox. <laughs> if they said like that, if Corn sounded like that, <laughs> instead of going Wumba <laughs> Manaki Naki. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. My <laughs> it was a little bit more regal. Yeah. <laughs> I can enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> on, on February 27th, 2018, 34-year-old Jonathan Michael Davis went missing. His relatives <laughs> began receiving messages explaining that he had been kidnapped and that they needed to pay a ransom of $375 to secure his freedom. <laughs> that was for what? Back rent or something? Like bail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I get $375. Such a specific <laughs> number. Yeah, that's for something. <laughs> Uh, That's like an omnibus of like all the Spider-Man comics or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, he could have just got a job. He could have just got a job. The kidnappers threatened to injure Davis if his family did not pay the ransom quickly. They even sent a picture of Davis's broken finger with a promise to break the rest if they did not pay. Ooh. Well, what was that picture from? The internet? Uh, Probably. The, 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 
<laughs> oh, you're gonna, like you're gonna find of, out of a different race. <laughs> <laughs> they went and actually broke another guy's finger. They're like, "What are we doing? Now we actually broke a dude's finger." <laughs> like, we need the photo. Uh, the Davis family reported the kidnapping to Oklahoma police on March 1st. The police called in the FBI and United States Marshals the same night. Davis was tracked to a casino in Tulsa where he was gambling. Wow, Davis had double that money. Davis. <laughs> Yeah, can you please extend my credit line to three hundred and seventy-five dollars <laughs> yeah, right. exactly? He's like, I'm hot, I know it. Just let me spend. Davis had been sending the messages to his relatives on his own phone. <laughs> All the agents had to do was track the phone. Davis's wow. finger was not broken either. The picture he sent was downloaded from Google Images. There we go. <laughs> In fact, the picture was one of the first to appear when agents Googled broken finger. Wow. Oh, oh, didn't even scroll down. <laughs> God oh, damn. Broken just like that. Didn't even go into are. Wikimedia. Yeah. You know? Is that what that is? Is that something? Yeah. That's <laughs> Wikimedia? Yeah. Is that right? That's Wikimedia. Wikimedia. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Wikimedia. Yeah, you don't know about, like, the That's 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 definitely definitely about the future. You don't know. I don't know. She's in the past. I live in the present, dude. I live in the here and now, dude. There ain't no Wikimedia. Yeah, there ain't no Wikimedia. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a porn company? Yes. <laughs> Wikimedia. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> So I went I went down that rabbit hole today. And, That's amazing. Uh, super fun. I don't I'll tell know you what, what you can kidnap yourself from your town, from your wife, from society, but yeah. not from your own feelings. Mm. No, no. God damn. No. Give this man Venmo him a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I encourage everybody to uh, you know go to Google and type in "man kidnapped himself" because uh, there were some other ones. A guy owed fifty thousand dollars because he bet too much on the Super Bowl, and so he, <laughs> he kidnapped ran. himself uh, good. <laughs> for the fifty grand. There was one where a kid Kid got bad grades at Gwinnett College outside of Atlanta and uh, told his parents that he was kidnapped. That's good. Uh, I should have used that a lot more <laughs> in my life. I'm 40 yeah, now. You can't I, really say that. I, without, that mm. one I love because it is taking the my grandmother died to just a whole oh, other yeah. fucking yeah. level. I'm not going to come home uh, and you can tell Holly that. That I was getting half the two like Why do I have to tell don't, her? Don't release this podcast. All right. She'll never know. <laughs> I'm officially kidnapped, dude. You did it. <laughs> I didn't do now shit. Now give her some money. 20 bucks, 175. There was a uh, post on some law blog where it was like the headline for the blog post was like, why kidnapping yourself is always a bad idea. <laughs> like, as law if, blog. As <laughs> if there's some shit. crazy person on the edge of doing it and a law blog would change the isn't mind. that such, like, wait, such an old timey way of saying it? Like, it seems like every like angry comedian, it's like, oh, are you going to start a fucking blog about it? Like, yeah, who yeah. has a <laughs> blog anymore? Is that true? If people say that, I feel like that's like any comedian over fifty who's like terrified of being canceled. It's is like, blog. what are you going to start a blog about it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think there are blogs anymore. 